Hello guys, it's me again on pouring some law. So today I am making a resin art piece. I'm using J Addiction resin, which I have already got mixed. And just want to show you something what I done. Um, See, these are the cuts of the toilet roll. And where is gone? So what I got here, the toilet roll I cut just to make a like shape just on a both end, press it and then cut in similar length all of them. So they are done and I painted gold on outer side haven't done any on uh, in inside so that's what i done with this one they dried and i am using this um canvas board which is a little bit deep it's not like flat same surface flat surface it has got a tiny bit dip and i put the tip all around from here till the back and mix my resin so what I'm doing I'm just going to do the feathers right now and so the first step I'm going to pour resin which I wiped twice but I still see some dust particles oh, never mind um, so just going resin or oh, just like this I think I should have enough so I've got the silicone brush and I'm just going to spread all over So now, just going to get the center of this one, and then I start from there. So it's about there. I already made a tiny mark there, and I've got those beautiful feathers. So uh, you can sp you can open it up by pressing like this, or if you want, you don't want too much pressing. I'm just going for this size, so. I'm happy with that. So I've got a mark here. And press it. Just to do it. on just have to be careful not touching the resin this was the wrong way around because it's not cut properly so what I do I'm just going to turn it in this way so
so as you can see I have put um, all my um, um, the tubes the paper toilet paper tubes so they all look nicely done now and it's been like four hours the resin started getting setting up so I'm going to start my next step um, I'm going to fill the background first so in the background I'm putting the gl um, this black glitter so I'm going to pour in my resin my resin is already mixed first going for the background and then I'll carry on other feather colors so wherever the gap is I'm going to fill this so like this one and the gaps in there so let's start from here if I drop anything, it doesn't really matter because when I cover the feathers, it will get covered when I do my feathers. So the next step I'm going for my other color glitter so in this one I have mixed this dark blue royal blue and the second row I'll be going light blue which is this one so just going first I'm just following the uh, peacock uh, feather color in a sequence Now I have to be very careful when I drop it so it doesn't drop on my black background. That's why I'm using the spoon, so easy to drop. got kind of copper gold I 
I mix two glitters to make it like copper gold, gold and I had a fine glitter of copper gold and gold the which is going here got enough hopefully got enough resin to finish off those So this is how it looks so far, very very sparkly and on the top I had one more um, tube roll left so I cut it and put on the top there so which I'm going to co cover the um, glitter later on when, when I finish off all other things so let me know what you think guys but we do, I'll do it tomorrow now I'm tired so don't want to mix any more resin and carry on but they are getting sticky right now so it's kind of going to be um it's not it's okay to do it but I, I want to leave it so we we'll finish off tomorrow so the next day I am here and this is how it looks so far and um, what I did I put another one cut here the toilet roll um, and took some try to take some raising off from there it will get a cover so I'm not worried too much about it um, <clears throat> so what I'm doing next one next day um, now the next glitter is going to be light green so I do I'm just trying to do one by one so I do that one first and then go for another one so mix this first this is all lovely dried because I did it yesterday. And I have drips or resin there. Just work that on. Just on the block there. So this is lovely light green colour. Mix in this one. Hear my children upstairs. Uh, in the, um, I'm in a basement, they are in a ground floor playing games. It's half term in the UK, so they are not at school at the minute. So that's it, and I'm just going to draw. So what I do, in the same one, I am going to pour my green glitter, so it's going to be darker than what I got, and I'll pour the version as well. I'll just do it right So this one is dark one I'm just mixing to I haven't got in this style and um, dark green so what I'm doing I'm just mixing two different glitters in color and I'm using some of the Illidan's glitter to work as well Illidan's white and I got lime green as well The next one I'm going to go now the random um, glitters I haven't used so I have got here red got this pink as well got this beautiful kind of champagne 
um, thread. So the first one, let me go. Let me just put on the resin first. So first, let's go for the red one. going to use this one and at the end I'll use the but the white will be there so yeah that's the only two I'm using so wow and the last one now so white is going to because it's black background so we'll pop up the silver silvery thing uh, I have actually got the white one as well let me just check oh, it's, it's got beautiful white as well so I definitely use that one So this is how it looks now. It's beautiful. And what I've done, I put the tape, I just raised the tape here a tiny bit because I want to cover with clear resin on top. And I have already mixed my resin. So I'm going to put the clear resin now. Just trying to stick this tape. But it, it's a little bit raised, just a tiny bit like this, so and then it can get covered with the clear one. So go mix my resin, and I'm going to just pour it on the top. So this is the next day and this is how it looks and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, take the tape off from the top and I want to do another clear resin um, layer so I'll go on the top so I do, I'm going to use my heat gun and I'll go all over all sides, take the tape off so just from the top I'm taking the tape off So when you heat up your resin a little bit, what happens, the tip comes out easily. So all I'm doing, just taking, just want to take the top bit off, top tape off. So it's done, so you can see it's raised resin here. So what I'll do, I'm going to use my this uh, deepering, deepering. So you can see the resin raised here. You can see the line. So I'm going to cut with this my tool. 
a little bit so it had a smooth line I'm not worried about too much whatever can come out can and then whatever's coming on the way while I try to cut it can, can cut off And what I do, I'm just going using this um, filer, I just give it a little file so if anything, raising, cut raising stuff, they can come off. This time I'm just going to use the support the bottom to raise my frame. So just using like this. And I didn't tell you what one I'm going to put I am just so before I put my resin I am putting this lovely pickle body. Um, I cut on my quick card and it's gold, texture gold vinyl. So that's it. This one is just going, oopsie, don't stick there yet. I just dropped it, but no mind. Still on a. Okay. Just be careful, just putting right. And all the way, just like this. I'll use my tool to get it down properly. Take my transfer tap off. It's up there. Can you see? Beautiful looks after having after having clear um sealing this one with clear resin, it will give a proper three D look to this peacock. So let's do the next step. Now the clear resin. I'm going to mix my clear resin because I put the mask on and put my mix my clear resin and then i'll come back after mixing it and do my next step so the resin is mixed now so i'm just going to pour over Well, this is I got from uh, um, Jediction as well. So, I just like the raised bit to use. You can use the this one for smooth surface. Make sure it's covered all over. 